For Lyona signatory employers and members, highway construction, repair, and maintenance can be a big part of the job. Unfortunately, highway work zones can be among the most dangerous work sites in the construction industry. Workers in highway work zones face many of the same potential hazards as construction workers in other settings, including runover and backovers, heat stress, and exposures to toxic substances like silica dust and asphalt fumes. However, they are also at risk from work zone intrusions by the traveling public, often caused by speeding, impaired, and distracted driving. Work zone intrusion incidents can also have detrimental mental health impacts on workers. From 2003 to 2019, over 2,100 workers lost their lives at road construction sites. That is an average of 124 workers killed each year. And yet, even with these numbers, roadway workers are not explicitly classified as vulnerable road users by the Federal Highway Administration. This means that many of the policies put in place to protect road users don't apply to road workers. So how can employers keep roadway workers safe? Due to the unpredictable nature of drivers, the best way to protect workers is to divert traffic around the work zone entirely, sending drivers on an alternate route through a complete road closure or detour. However, under many circumstances, this isn't feasible. The next best way to protect workers is through some form of positive protection. Positive protection helps reduce the crash risk to workers and travelers with the use of devices that contain and redirect vehicles, reducing the risk of vehicle intrusion into the workspace. Some examples of positive protection are various types of barriers, shadow vehicles with energy absorbing attenuators and vehicle arresting systems. Barriers can include steel barriers, movable zipper types, concrete barriers, and mobile steel barriers attached to a trailer. These barriers can stop a vehicle from entering a construction zone and injuring workers. Shadow vehicles with energy absorbing attenuators, vehicle arresting systems, and alternate flagging devices provide additional protection by helping to control traffic speed. Unfortunately, the use of positive protection is usually limited to long-term projects. Digital alerting technology that communicates with navigation systems like Waze, Google Maps, and Apple Maps is being developed to alert drivers and protect vulnerable road workers, emergency responders, cyclists, and pedestrians from preventable collisions. Although in the early stages, these systems have been shown to be effective at alerting drivers to upcoming work zones, workers, incidents, and hazards in real time. Drivers should always be aware and alert when driving through a work zone. Avoid distractions such as phones and food or drinks and follow all posted signs. Remember, highway workers have families too. For more information on roadway worker safety, contact the fund's OSH division. Thank you and stay safe out there.